meaning, purpose, an aim, a goal, a target, an objective, a plan. A determination to act in a sp specific and specified way. Yes. A mental state that represents a commitment to carrying out an action or actions in the future. All of this is intentions. Your intentions. What have you planned? What is your purpose? What is your aim? What is your target? And whom is it to and what is it for? So today's moments of inspiration to help lead, guide, and direct us as intentions. Good intentions are no good until they are put into action. Yes. <laughs> There's a place deep inside the real person's guard the, where the real person guards his secret thoughts and true intentions. Solomon warns that what a man says is often a deceit to hide what he really is inside. Yes. <laughs> Good intentions are no substitute for obedience. Mm. Hell is paved with good intentions. Yes. <laughs> Before the throne of the Almighty, man will be judged not only by his acts, but also by his intentions. Yes. Beware of stopping anywhere short of total surrender to God. Many good purposes and intentions lie in the graveyard. And to take with us on this day, tomorrow is the devil's day, but today is God's. Yes. Satan doesn't care how spiritual your intentions are or how holy your resolutions. If only you are determined to be done tomorrow. Yes, yes. God knows our real intentions. Yes. When the Israelites realized their foolish mistake, they were, sudden, they were suddenly ready to return to God. But God didn't confuse their admission of guilt with true repentance because he knew their hearts. Yes. Sure enough, they soon went their own way again. Yes. Sometimes right actions and good intentions come too late. We must not only do what is right, but we also must do it in the right time. Amen. God wants complete and instant obedience. Yes. Good intentions can become a reality with Christ's help. Although we start out with good intentions, sometimes our faith falters. This doesn't necessarily mean that we have failed. When Peter's faith faltered in Matthew 12, 22 through 32, he reached out to Christ, the only one who could help. Amen. He was afraid, but he still looked to Christ. Yes. When you are apprehensive about the troubles around you and doubt Christ's presence or ability to help, you must remember that he is the only one who can really help. Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. God knows the real intentions of your heart. The first son, found in Matthew 21, 28 through 32, we, all, we, we are all sometimes prone to say, like the first son, we are sometimes prone prone to say no to God and only then to realize whom we have rejected. Yes. God loves us too much to settle for our superficial answers to his calls. Mm. The second son who said he would obey then didn't 
represented the nation of Israel in Jesus' day. They said they wanted to do the will of God, but they constantly disobeyed. Yes. They were phony, just going through the motions. It's dangerous to pretend to obey God with your, when our heart is far from him, because God knows our true intentions. Yes. Our actions must match our words. We've all had intentions of doing something good, but fail to follow through. We may have wanted to call or phone a friend to check up on them, or visit a sick neighbor, or write a note of encouragement to a loved one, but we didn't take the time. Some people know that Jesus is the only way to heaven, and they plan to trust him someday. Yet they keep putting it off. They may have good intentions, but they but that won't give you salvation. Amen. As a Christian, you may say that you want to grow closer to the Lord, but somehow you don't take the time to read and study the word of God or to pray. Amen. Allow God by his grace to work through your heart to control your intentions and desires. Allow him to draw you in his direction yes. and hold you with his affection, yes. molding you to the perfect, to his perfect design. Yes. God's greatest intention is for you to be the best you can be Amen. for him. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. We thank the Lord for his word thus far. And now we'll be blessed with one more musical selection, and then we will have a word from our pastor. Pray that all hearts and minds open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. 